when my son was a kid, he was about two, and his sister was three and a half, and she had a little coterie of friends, you know, and they used to get together and dress up. And they often, for a period of time, dressed my son Julian up in these little girl costumes, you know, like really feminine costumes, fairy wings and like a little tutu. And, and they had quite the time um, playing out this game. And he would come upstairs and, you know, zip about and they'd chase him and so forth. And I was watching that thinking, okay, what the hell's going on here? Because there was part of me that I had some discomfort about that. And so I thought, okay, what's happening here? A, why is he doing it? B, why are the girls doing it? C, why am I uncomfortable with it? Okay, so I started with my own discomfort because I thought, well, you know, is something going on here that you should intervene in or not? Or is it about you? And I talked to my wife about that. And as we laid it out, I realized that a young boy has to play out being a girl in fantasy. And a young girl has to play out being a boy because unless you play it out, build a fictional representation, you can't understand the opposite sex. And so then I thought, oh, I see what's going on. He's just playing at being a girl. And the girls are playing with the idea of sex and they're trying to calibrate what it's like to be the opposite sex and what it's like to be them. And that's perfectly within the bounds of acceptable pretend play. Now, one of the concerns I have at the moment is that our kids are so involved with screens that a lot of that early pretend play where sexual identity is truly established is actually being completely interfered with. And I think a lot of what we're seeing on the adolescent front is the reemergence of that fantasy play that was always suppressed. I, I, but in any case. Yeah, I have a similar story, Jordan, with my son. He, you know, was playing with, he wanted to play with dolls and Barbies. And I was obviously okay with that. And I remember asking him, like, why don't we buy Eric, like the prince for... Ariel, and he said to me, oh, I don't want to play with boys. Boys are mean. And I was like, oh, mm. okay. So this is how he was understanding the world. And, you know, he's a little older now. He doesn't really play Barbies anymore. But I was like, okay, this is how they're playing out and how he is representing how he understands women and and himself. And I see a lot of parents I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. The moment my kid played with Barbies, I had to have the thought as a parent, would I be okay if my son was a girl? And where did that come from? And I don't think our right. our parents yeah, no our parents didn't worry about that. I see my friends have to like, okay, I would accept if my child is this other gender. And that is in and itself bizarre that we're going down that path. 